this edition of InCycle, we talk to Bahrain Medida's Andre Sink about the switch from mountain to road. I say many times in the half year why I changed. I was happy in mountain biking. Irish Pro Conti outfit Aqua Blue Sport make their Grand Tour debut at the Vuelta España. My goal from the beginning of the year was that we, we should do a Grand Tour, it should be the Vuelta. I thought it would be difficult and actually uh, the team worked hard for it. Just by us being there is, uh, is also a good result. But first, Mariana Foss. For me, competition, that's the thing I'm, I'm doing it for. And I, at one point, of course, you have to, have to let go, but I haven't reached that point yet. Um, for sure, I want to race uh, for a couple of years more. And I still feel if everything goes well and everything goes to plan, I'm still there with the, yeah, with the top riders. I already got those questions, uh, when do you retire when I was 25, 26? So because I've been in the, in, in, yeah, in the elite category on the highest level since I was 18, 19. So I can understand that people think I'm, I'm there forever already. For me, uh, I'm not done yet. Mariana Foss, three-time world road champion, seven-time world cyclocross champion. Conqueror of stage races, classics, national championships, and classification jerseys of all kinds, several times over. Add to that a new title as the recently crowned European champion. A belated reward for what had been an unremarkable season, perhaps only by the standards of an athlete who has remained at the very top of her sport for over 10 years. The season uh, has had up and downs, ups and downs, and it's not, uh, has not been perfect. Uh, out of the cyclocross season, I was uh, ready to go for it, and then the, the spring period, uh, I wasn't uh, well in the, in the shape I, uh, I hoped. Um, so I had to, to take some rest, start, start up and build up again um, in April. And uh, well, the, the May period of racing was, uh, was quite good, so I was ready uh, for the second half of the season and then uh, broke my collarbone in the women's tour. Well, it was a, a crash uh, at high speed in a, in a run into the finish, so uh, into the barriers. So I felt it, it was a pretty nasty crash and, uh, and I already felt my both arms weren't really uh, uh, moving and uh, I wanted to go to the finish because you never know, it might also be something that's just uh, because of the, of the impact of the crash itself. But, uh, actually, I knew straight away that uh, I was out for, uh, for a couple of weeks. Because I was in the lead, uh, we all did our best to keep her uh, in that position and uh, had to win the general classification with, uh, with her. And I, of course, I, I, I felt bad I was out during the race, but I even yeah, was more frustrated that I couldn't finish the race with, uh, with the team. Um, but I did a perfect job to keep her in, uh, in the leading position. Injuries are part of the sport and of course it's not nice, you just want to keep going and uh, when you've worked hard you, you want to, to show it in the, in the races, but um, well, I just took it as it is and um, the best role I can play in the team is when I'm fit and ready to race, so that was uh, the main goal during the, the recovery period. And we try to go for the win and whoever it is or it's, it's about the team and for me that, that role, whatever role they put me in uh, that I can, uh, can do, um, yeah, I want to add something to the team. And if it's in a race that, that I, uh, I can do the, or I need to do the final, I can do the final and it's okay. If I have to do my work in the early, earlier in the race, it's also, uh, it's also good. If it's part of the plan, I'm, uh, I'm okay with that. And I just love the game. So if I can play the game and then be part of that, then it's, uh, yeah, then I, I love to do that. And I, I love riding my bike and uh, travel around the world and uh, we, we just ride on beautiful places. Um, but competition is the, is the biggest motivation for me to, uh, to keep going. As a younger rider, I didn't really like the attention. I've always loved the competition and uh, on the bike, I felt really comfortable. But uh, off the bike, uh, 
with the cameras and all the attention and people wanting things from me, I, uh, I really had to get used to that. Um, and I even questioned myself if I really wanted that. But yeah, I wanted to be a rider. I wanted to show my best and uh, use my talent. So uh, yeah, then you learn how to, to deal with it. And for, for now, I, yeah, I'm okay with it. I think how I grow up is, is plays a, a real important role in how I perceive things. And uh, my parents are very down to earth and they indeed travel around with the camper um, and the cat. And that's, that's all just um, yeah, basic and, uh, and how I uh, want to live. So, um, and in the cyclocross season, they have a more important role uh, for me as a in the, in the staff. So my dad is my mechanic, my mom is my swanee. Uh, so it's a, it's a really a family thing then. Um, and that's, uh, that's nice. That's nice. That's, that makes the cyclocross season really uh, relaxed. And I think it's, it's, it's in my character. Uh, just wanna, yeah, be who I am. And uh, that's what I do. I'm Andre Zink and uh, I am a rider from Bahrain Bar Merida team. And last year I was uh, still a mountain biker. And uh, before six months I changed uh, for the road cycling. And that's uh, changed my also life because uh, because it's uh, it's totally different sport, mountain biking and road cycling. It's uh, I have to say it's much harder the road cycling, and it's also unbelievable that I I am now in Tour de France after six months on the road. It's, it's crazy for me. And it was always my big dream. I was young, I was always watching the TV and uh, I always say I, I want to be there one time and now I'm here. <laughs> it's crazy. For me it was normal to do mountain biking because uh, I was young and uh, we, with the friends we was always in the wood, uh, making fun on the bike like jumping downhill and then I start to racing but why I change uh, because uh, last year I I didn't get uh, any contract from mountain biking and uh, I was very happy that uh, that I get this chance to be here in this team on the road I have to say thanks a lot to Merida management for, from Germany because they helped me about uh, this changing and uh, I was very happy for this help. It was crazy, everything was new for me but it, it was like new motivation. It, everything new, I start again from zero and I have to again grow up. Uh, uh, but not on mountain bike, but you know, on the road. <laughs> it, it's, it was nice feeling. <laughs> I have good uh, experience uh, with the bike, like technical stuff, uh, with the bike in the downhill, how, how to ride the bike. And what I miss is uh, endurance, because uh, on the Mountain bike, we did a lot of high intensity training, but short. And here is stages like 220 Ks, five, six hours on the bike. And it's different for me. And of course, I, I have to still adapt uh, for that. I, I say many times in the half year, why I change, it's, uh, it's very hard. And, I was happy in mountain biking, it was funny, everything was fine <laughs> and now I'm suffering but I have to keep uh, in my head uh, 
always uh, good motivation because I know that uh, that I will come because I have to adapt for for this sport because it's different and uh, I think after two three years I think it will be fine and uh, uh, I hope I will be strong. <laughs>
was going pretty crazy. Then when I saw that, I was really excited uh, just because, yeah, it turned out once we got a Grand Tour star, that was the perfect schedule for me. I think everyone has been motivated 110%, and I think uh, you'll see some good things from our team there. In the background, all the hard work that's gone in is so much more than we know about. If you look at January until starting the Vuelta, or hopefully the end of the Vuelta, how much the team's come on, it is incredible. The guys that go into the Vuelta, you know, um, super good guys. I've raced with them most of my race programme this whole year, and that's been that's been really good, just getting to know each other and having confidence in each other and growing with, with trust, really. That's the main thing for me. For myself, it was just, you know, going there, make sure I'm absolutely flying and try and get a good result. I think there's a second day, there's a sprint day straight away, so for me to get in there so early and try and get a, a good result, hopefully a stage win, that's what I'm going for. I haven't looked at a specific stage, but I've looked at a lot of stages and I saw that there's really going to be a lot of chances for breakaways, so that should be great. And I think it's hard if you really pick just one. Uh, you know, you, uh, you have to pick maybe five or ten or something <laughs> because it's kind of... Uh, getting in the breakaway is kind of a crapshoot also. Definitely have a look for quick step and dash. Movie star. Let's go. Yeah, if there's big things going, then I'll go. Otherwise, yeah. it's like I'll try for the finish, and then yeah. if it doesn't work out, then <coughs> yeah. either I lose time today or I lose time tomorrow, and then go for the breakaway the last Yeah. Okay, Lasse, if you hear this, uh, it's slowing down probably in the peloton, so uh, it looks like you're gone. Good job. Yeah. No, 
don't know. Is Mark in front of you? I think Mark is still there. Yeah. Is Mark up there? Yeah. Okay. a conversation with most of the guys on the team and say, look, you may never have thought in your water streams you'd be doing Grand Tour. Let's prepare for it now and see, let's see if we do it. Let's see what we can do. And I think we have a group of guys here who bought into the system and bought into what we wanted to do and everybody stepped up above and beyond what we anticipated, which is just phenomenal from, from a group of guys like that. They have to be prepared 100% for their race. They are really motivated for this and uh, I, I feel the, you know, the, the focus amongst the group already. They think they know what they're about to get into, you know, and, uh, and uh, they're mentally ready for it. And uh, we've timed the whole season in the way so that we're going to have some riders that are going to be fresh for the task. And they're going to be ready. That's all for this week. Join us next time on InCycle, but until then, keep up to date with us across social media.